laws. Now, when I first came to California from the East Coast, uh, I learned very quickly, if you go to a, a barbecue or an outdoor party at night in California, back in the 60s, you took along a coat, even in the summer, because when the sun went down, the earth would lose heat rapidly and it would get cold. That's not the case anymore. Because of all of the particulate spraying, the night doesn't cool off nearly as fast or as greatly. You see the same thing in the desert. On a, on a uh, sunny day, oh, it's very hot during the day, but at night it's very cold. On a cloudy day, it's not so hot during the day. But the night isn't nearly as cold. And the loss or the less heat loss at night is what is driving the global warming that we're seeing. And it's caused by the particulate pollution. So it's particulate pollution, not CO2, that is the cause of global warming. Very interesting. So this particulate act like a cover that will block entry of lights during the day or exits of light during the night and ultimately it keeps the heat on one side. It acts like an incident. Yes, it's like putting a, a, a thermal blanket up there. And so this is, this is uh, there's a different evidence for this. For example, uh, certain cities where you have a lot of smog, you have this, and pollution, you have the same effect on a more local scale. You, you have, uh, you have uh, the heating because you have the particulates above the, the city. Uh, well, this is the, this is part of the story. I mean, this is, this is the story. There's no such thing as CO2 caused global warming. CO2 is minimal for us uh, to do this. This is, this is far, far more uh, dramatic. Now, what you also have is you have the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change hundreds of scientists all producing work that supports the idea of CO2. Does any single one of them ever mention the ongoing geoengineering, the adding particulates to the region where clouds form? No. Now, how can you try to claim that you are studying the Earth's climate when you are have your blinders on and you refuse to see what people are in fact doing to the planet. So now it becomes a question of fraud. The IPCC is saying, you know, we have to reduce the use of fossil fuels. We have to provide a lot of money for what they're doing. And at the same time, there's an international program which must be managed by the UN to be international, putting particulates in the air to cause global warming. So on one hand, the UN is causing global warming. And on the other hand, it's saying, Oh, no, it's carbon dioxide. Can't be both ways. So this, this is, this is a, a scale of fraud that is immense. And it's involving governments. It's involving the United Nations. And the worst part is it involves all of these scientists who refuse to tell the truth.